You are watching Tone Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Chinese scientists have successfully achieved quantum teleportation from a station on the ground to a satellite in orbit, a distance of over 1,400 kilometers. The scientists were successful in this task over 900 times. Let's take a deeper look. This is some crazy stuff. This video was brought to you by Audible, the best way to listen to books and spoken entertainment. The book I'm listening to right now is called Quantum Theory, A Very Short Introduction. It's all about the strange and bizarre world of quantum physics explained in an easy and fun way. Use my link, www.audible.com slash coldfusion and get a free audiobook with a 30 day trial. If you don't like your book, it's easy to exchange it. You can swap it out for free anytime. There'll be more on this offer after the video. First up, the teleportation achieved wasn't the kind that you would imagine from the movies where an object gets physically moved from one location to another, but it's a different kind of teleportation called quantum teleportation. Let me explain. A fundamental particle, such as a photon, which is what light is made of, can be described with something called a state. A state is a set of properties that include information about the way the particle is moving and behaving. The state or description of one particle can be linked to another particle in a special way. The state of one particle influences the state of the other particle. This is called quantum entanglement. Consider two particles that are made to interact with each other so that their properties are now connected. These two entangled particles are kind of like twins now. Each of the individual particles can only be measured in two states. Technically, the states are called spin and the particles can only exist as spin up or spin down. For this video, it's easier to think of the states like binary, one or zero, much like quantum computer qubits. Strangely, when we're not looking, the particles exist in both states at the same time and there's only a probability of which one they're going to be. This is called superposition. The state of a particle only gets confirmed as a 1 or a 0 if we look at it and measure it. Now what I'm about to say is going to sound odd, but this is how the world works. When you observe the state of one particle, the other connected particle has to be in exactly the opposite state. In other words, when we observe that the state of one particle is in state 1, the other particle has to be in state 0. It's a strange thing to get your head around, but it's fascinating because it has some amazing implications. What's more interesting is that the distance between the particles doesn't matter. You can move them a meter apart or the distance of the universe apart and they would still interact with each other and be in opposite states. This transfer of information about which state the particles are in, by definition, is called quantum teleportation. It's a hard concept for human minds to understand because in our world of everyday classical physics, if there are two things that are exactly identical, they still have an individual identity. They might only affect each other if they're relatively close. This is not the same for the very small world of quantum physics. Because quantum entanglement works at any distance and instantly, the actual information transmitted between the two particles travels faster than the speed of light. This has been known for many decades. One of the great peculiarities of quantum mechanics, which Schrodinger already realized in 1926, is that in many situations, two distinct physical systems are characterized by a single state in such a way that if you try to characterize the state of one part, you must refer to the state of the other part. And if you refer to the state of the second part, you must refer to the state of the first. The two systems, as he put it, are entangled. So that I'm obliged to admit that the quantum correlations exist in the world, and if we are to explain them and not just accept them as given, if we are to explain them, we are obliged to invoke something like actions going faster than light from one place to another. Although the perception and transfer of the knowledge of that information obviously can't be transmitted faster than the speed of light. If this sounds weird or impossible to you, you're in good company. This predicament bothered Albert Einstein so much that he thought it was so strange and believed that it couldn't be true. He called it spooky action at a distance. 
In 1935, he and some other physicists of the day wrote a paper outlining the phenomenon, but stated that quantum entanglement must just be due to some things that we just don't understand. The idea remained a theory and was only speculated to be possible in the 1990s. Fast forward to 2014, and it was proven that this quantum entanglement could happen at a distance of 25 kilometers. And in 2015, this distance rose to 100 kilometers. This was actually the physical limit as fiber optic cables caused too many losses. Next, we had to move beyond Earth and test this theory from space, a much greater challenge and something that had never been done before. After five years of development, the Chinese Academy of Scientists launched the world's first quantum satellite called Micius in August of 2016. According to study co-author Professor Chao Yang Lu, quote, quantum science has become a new resource as real as energy and is being applied to cryptography, teleportation and quantum computing. This new knowledge can instantly be applied to these areas, end quote. So here's how it worked. The satellite made two photon particles interact with each other so that they were entangled and then beamed them down to two separate stations on Earth, more than a thousand kilometers apart. Amazingly, it was observed that these particles were still interacting despite the very large distance. Dr. Chun Li Xiong of the Australian National University, who themselves are in the process of developing Australia's own quantum satellite, said that the results were a major milestone. Quote, since they launched the satellite, all of us working in this area have been expecting some results, but I'm very surprised that they achieved this so quickly, in less than a year's time." End quote. Some applications of this include the secure transfer of information. Because any change in one particle will be apparent in the other instantly, quantum entanglement has been considered a potentially powerful tool for sending information securely. In particular, this could enable secure distribution of keys to unlock codes encrypting secret information. In other words, quantum teleportation can actually be used as a kind of digital burglar alarm. Because of the nature of entanglement, if any third party tried to use the key, it would be detected by the sender and receiver instantly and they would know that they had been hacked. This technology could also be used to build quantum networks that are instantaneous and much faster than anything that we could build today. Here's another quote from the Chinese research team. Quote, Long distance entanglement distribution is essential for the testing of quantum physics and quantum networks. These works established the first ground to satellite uplink for faithful ultra long distance quantum teleportation, an essential step forward to the global scale quantum internet." End quote. So I don't know about you, but I find this stuff absolutely fascinating. I think it's amazing that we're living in such a time where this kind of thing is possible and breakthroughs are happening every single year. Although we're in the early days of this technology and there's still currently some limits, what the Chinese team did was an amazing feat and I bet the future will be full of surprises as more discoveries are made in the world of quantum physics. I just love this kind of stuff. So as you've seen from this video, the world of quantum physics is stranger than fiction, but it's actually what governs our world. If you want to know more on the topic, Quantum Theory, A Very Short Introduction is a great book because you can get right into understanding all the interesting facts about the quantum world even without a science or physics background. Using my link www.audible.com slash coldfusion you can listen to this book for free or any other book when you sign up for a 30 day trial membership with Audible. And with Audible you get to build your own library and keep your books forever even if you cancel your membership after the trial period or any time. Again, that's audible.com slash coldfusion to start your trial membership today and let me know some other suggestions for some books that I should listen to in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and enjoy your free audiobook. This has been Dagogo, you've been watching Cold Fusion. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Cheers, have a good one. Cold Fusion, it's new thinking.